In this section and in this lesson, we're going to be learning how to save your project in a variety of formats. The first is just to do a save as a Photoshop file so that if you're working on a project and you want to come back to it later, you can just reopen that project. I still have this oil painting effect and photo that I was working on last time open and say I'm done with this project for now, but I know I want to do a little bit more work. What I can do is just click save. And since I had already opened up the oilpinning.nef file, it's not an actual PSD file. So I'm just going to save it to my desktop and you can rename it. You want to make sure that it's a Photoshop file. Down here, right in this save module, you can change it from Photoshop to JPEG to PNG. You could choose a different type of image file to save, but we're just going to do Photoshop. Select save, select OK saving it you can see it down here in the bottom left and once it's done we can close this project so now the next time you open this up Photoshop you'll see this painting PSD file or if you are right on your desktop you can actually just double click this PSD file and it will open right back up in Photoshop so that's how you save a project as a Photoshop project you can also duplicate this say we made some changes Maybe add some text, wedding anniversary party. Maybe this would be the invite for that, super quick. And then we want to save this as, we can just go up to file, save as, oil painting invite, and keep it as Photoshop. You wanna make sure that you save it with the layers. I'll show you what happens if you don't save it with the layers. So it's gonna save it as a copy, we can say save, say OK again, go back to my desktop, go open my oil painting invite, and now it opens and we don't have our layers anymore. So the text is burnt into that photo, unlike our original oil painting Photoshop file. So make sure that you have those keep that keep layers option selected. Thanks for watching and now in the next lessons we'll learn how to save your images for print and web.